AI or engagement development platform enables a new class of applications tailored for any role, task, or vertical, turning discrete applications and services into collaboration and customer engagement solutions. Hopefully there'll be some capabilities brought up in this presentation that will cause you to reach out to your Sirium account executive for a more in-depth discussion as to how we can help you drive more effective and efficient communications. The Engagement Development Platform, or EDP, will open up many options that will allow your organization to more efficiently communicate internally with your partners and most importantly with your customers. Today I'm going to provide you with a very high level overview of EDP, talk about use cases, and wrap up with a case study. EDP is a coherent set of APIs and SDKs that allow you to add new capabilities to your Avaya Aura solutions. It extends across multiple devices and systems, enabling enterprises and developers to quickly build and deploy collaboration applications that can leverage dynamic or static business rules. Another way to think of EDP is that it allows you to introduce customized features into your communications environment without being dependent on the manufacturer's code train and release cycle. Architecturally, inbound or outbound communications pass through EDP where they are acted upon by snap-ins which modify or enhance that communication based on your business rules before being delivered to their final destination. Snap-ins are what really differentiates EDP. A snap-in is a modular reusable code or capability that connects, enables, or facilitates the desired application outcome. Snap-ins provide the benefits of being able to quickly integrate new capabilities into business processes and functions that efficiently reuse core capabilities across multiple business applications. Snap-ins essentially fall into two categories. Connectors that enable media functionality such as email, SMS, video and presence, and applications which act on communication flows. Now I'll talk about the various use cases that leverage snap-ins. Inbound and outbound caller ID manipulation is, a, is complex and cannot easily be manipulated dynamically within Communication Manager. EDP can solve for this. So we've got the agent making the outbound call. She's dialing a customer in Texas. Session manager sends the call through the engagement development platform. EDP invokes a snap-in. This happens to be the uh, outbound caller ID snap-in. The snap-in selects the best caller ID name and number to present to the customers in Texas. And the call is delivered to the customer showing the Texas caller ID. When the agent dials someone in Florida, the same process repeats itself again, and the, the customer in Florida sees a Florida-based caller ID out of that call center. This is an inbound example, which enhances the inbound caller ID information presented to staff. So a customer in Texas calls an associate. Session manager sends the call through EDP. EDP invokes a snap-in. The snap-in adds the name and company. And the, caller, the call is delivered to the associate showing the Texas caller ID. Call redirection manager is an Avaya snap-in which allows you to manipulate where a call lands based on information contained in the database that can be dynamically changed by administrators or staff. In this example, customer dials a direct DID number, session manager sends the call through EDP, engagement development platform invokes a snap-in, the snap-in queries a whitelist database using caller ID, the call is delivered to the advisor if on the list, the call is alternately routed if it's not on the list to the contact center. 
Here I'm showing the web user interface of the Call Redirection Manager solution. Through this interface, individual users or administrators can easily set the rules regarding call screening and redirection options. In the whitelist, on, in the whitelist panel here on the left, you see the caller ID information that will be the basis for determining what calls will be presented to the advisor with all other calls being presented to the contact center for screening. In the redirection panel on the right, we have the ability to manipulate by time of day and day of week where the calls get sent to. In this example, from 5 p.m. to midnight during the work week, the advisor will have all calls ring to his mobile phone. During the weekends, all calls ring into the contact center. The Avaya Park and Page Snap-In is an example of introducing a new feature for Communication Manager. The existing Park and Page feature within Communication Manager is not as user-friendly as the similar feature in the CS1000. In Communication Manager, calls are parked against extensions rather than park orbits and require the user to press a park button or dial a feature access code, which is not very intuitive or user-friendly. Rather than writing new code in Communication Manager to emulate the more user-friendly functions desired by former CS1000 users, Avaya developed this snap in to solve the issue. The benefits of this approach are that the feature is not CM release dependent, and it became available more quickly than it would have otherwise following the normal Communication Manager R&D cycle. In Avaya OR 7, Present Services has moved away from being an independent application and is now a snap-in in the engagement development platform. The strategy here being that Avaya Aura Presence and Instant Messaging can scale more efficiently and expose these services out to third-party applications. The Avaya Work Assignment Snap-in is a contact center focused solution that allows enterprises to apply business rules and real-time context to match agent skills and capabilities against customer parameters or requirements with the goals of reducing cost, enhancing revenue, and customer satisfaction. The co-browsing snap-in facilitates integration of this functionality into your contact center. And the WebRTC snap-in facilitates click-to-call functionality from any supported browser by connecting an audio path along with the associated web page information to the agent. The Engagement Assistant snap-in provides users with one number conferencing for all meetings on their Outlook calendar. It automatically does the dial-in and PIN access for you. The Context Store Snap-in provides a data cache for applications to store, retrieve, and share contextual information about customer interactions throughout the customer journey, and eventually feed that information into a database for persistence and analytics. You can expose this information so that representatives and other resources can provide fast and accurate service for their customers. Here's the first of two examples. Customer completes an online survey for a recent transaction over their PC, and the survey results are stored in EDP's contact store for later use. The customer then calls the contact center shortly thereafter. The survey results are presented to trained retention agents, and the retention agent skillfully uses the data to redelight the customer. And here's a second example. Customer logs in and loads a shopping cart but doesn't buy. The cart information is saved in the contact store. Customer calls and the agent sees the customer's cart. The agent discusses and sends an SMS email with a link. Both crow browse to get the right price and shipping. 
and the transaction is completed. The real-time speech snap-in is based on phonetic speech search technology and an application or workflow can be notified when phrases are spoken by either party in a two-party call. Here's a compliance and adherence scenario that leverages real-time speech analytics that Avaya helped the customer out with. Even though the customer's agents have a script that they need to follow, pressing a button on their screen acknowledging that they followed it, they found through quality reviews or recordings that compliance was actually very low. This presented legal and regulatory issues as the agents are required to clearly say their name as well as state their license number when calling customers about loan applications. The real-time speech snap-in listens, and if the agent doesn't state their name or license number, the system plays a reminder tone that only the agent can hear, prompting the agent to correct the oversight. Now that I've talked about several use cases for the engagement development platform, I'd like to present a very nice case study that Avaya put together regarding their work at Michigan State University two years ago. Michigan State University examined areas for reducing costs and improving communications. The research identified several opportunities for consideration with the lowest hanging fruit being the cost takeout of elevator monitoring expenses of over $300,000 a year and enhancing alumni fundraising. MSU held a hackathon and a group of students developed a snap-in that leveraged SMS. Calls received from a stuck elevator car are transferred to an operator for immediate action and help. When transferring the call, the snap-in updates the caller ID to reflect the elevator card name for easy identification of the call by operators. On-call elevator maintenance personnel are also notified of the situation directly through SMS text messaging notifications. It's worth noting that this took about 100 lines of code for the snap-in. The solution provides a higher level of quality response, and the initial goal of cost takeout was met. Success begets success, so MSU leveraged DDP to provide more intelligence regarding donors that call in to the fundraising officer. If the officer is at their desk, they get a screen pop with the information. If they're mobile, they receive an SMS with the information and then connect to the donor. Taking intelligence a step further, when event callers are identified as donors, they are rerouted to a fundraising officer for upsell, resulting in higher revenue. Michigan State University used the EDP SMS snap-in to streamline bike repair ready for pickup communications. And again, using the SMS snap-in, MSU developed a parking meter pending expiration application. Although it looks like this reduced ticket revenue, it did increase student satisfaction. The university used the WebRTC snap-in to click to call to enable various web pages. Emergency notification is also leveraging EDP to broadcast out to Avaya telephones as well as text out to those who subscribe to this service. For those who might be interested, I went out to the Avaya DevConnect site and discovered that MSU had posted the elevator snap-in as well as a voting snap-in. Both are available under open source license. And this week, Avaya has put up a snap-in marketplace at snapstore.avaya.com. That's S-N-A-P-P-S-T-O-R-E dot avaya dot com. In closing, the Avaya Aura Engagement Development Platform is truly a Swiss Army knife that enables a new class of communication applications tailored for any role, task, or vertical. As the MSU case study illustrated, the size of the SNAP-in universe will greatly expand as your organizations get very creative in solving their problems. I encourage you to reach out to your Syrian account executive to explore these solutions further. 
Join me in May for my next webinar where I'll provide a deeper dive into the technical aspects of EDP. We look forward to helping you move your communications forward in a cost-effective manner. Thank you for your time. And just as a reminder to everyone before you get off, um, we will have this posted up on our website um, probably by tomorrow, and I'll also send um, an email link out to, to you folks. If you have any questions for Ken, um, you're more than welcome to ask them now or, um, or send them over via um, email at kgoggish at serenenetworks.com. And that will do it for the day. Thanks for attending. Bye. Bye.